Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. In addition to accepting private insurance from your patients, your practice may also want to accept government-sponsored medical insurance such as Medicare and Medicaid. The two programs cover very different populations, so it's important to understand the differences between them. Medicare offers medical insurance coverage to individuals aged 65 and older as well as individuals with certain types of disabilities. Medicare benefits are associated with Social Security benefits and are available to all U.S. citizens who fit the age criteria, regardless of their income. Medicare covers the cost of hospitalization, surgery, medical insurance, and prescription drugs. Medicaid is a separate program that is sponsored by both federal and state governments. Through Medicaid, low-income individuals, families, and children can receive medical care and insurance coverage. The Medicaid program in each state has different qualification requirements and not everyone who applies will qualify. As a medical entrepreneur, you have the right to decide whether your practice will accept Medicare and Medicaid as medical insurance. Some physicians opt not to accept either program because reimbursements tend to be lower than with private insurance companies. Others are committed to offering equal opportunity health care to all patients, regardless of their age or income status. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. As the owner of a new or growing medical practice, it's important to have a strong understanding of your patient's health insurance options. The vast majority of your patients will be enrolled in either an HMO or a PPO medical insurance plan. Understanding the differences between these two types of insurance will help you and your staff provide a better patient experience. Develop relationships with insurance providers and ensure you get paid for your services swiftly and accurately. HMO insurance plans tend to be more restrictive than PPOs. Often you will only be able to accept a new patient if you are part of their HMO network. If you are a specialist, a patient on an HMO plan may not be able to see you without a referral. HMOs tend to have low or no co-pays, low deductibles, and high patient satisfaction ratings. PPOs are the more flexible and more popular insurance choice for many patients. With a PPO, a patient is more likely to be covered for your services, even if you're not in their network. While co-pays, deductibles, and out-of-network services tend to be higher with PPOs, many patients are willing to pay more for the flexibility of seeing the physician of their choice. Most of the patients you see in your practice will be covered under HMOs, PPOs, and other types of medical insurance. Make sure you and your staff are familiar with insurance protocol so you know which patients you can accept and so you can collect and process payments quickly and easily. To learn more about medical billing, insurance, coding, outsourcing, and everything you need to establish a successful healthcare practice, follow all of Sherlock Doc's adventures on the doctorsbusinessnetwork.com or Doctors Business Channel on YouTube.